Howdy, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another problem of the week. This week you're going to need a periodic table. You're going to need your calculator. I use the TI-84. And let's see what the question is. How many moles of potassium chloride will result from the complete reaction of 6.8 moles of chlorine? Assuming that there is more than enough potassium to complete the reaction. Well, first of all, let's write a balanced equation and uh, get our mole ratio. And then use that mole ratio to find the moles of potassium chloride. To the magic blackboard, here's our balanced equation. Now notice we've got two potassium, two moles of potassium for every one mole of chlorine and that will give us two moles of potassium chloride. Therefore, the mole ratio of chlorine to potassium chloride is one to two. Now that's the only mole ratio we need because that's what the problem focuses on. So let's write the equation, 6.8 moles of chlorine and we're gonna convert that to moles of potassium chloride. Notice our moles cancel out. So let's plug and chug, just put that into our calculator. We get 13.4 moles of potassium chloride and we're done. The recap, write a balanced chemical equation, determine the moles, use that mole ratio to find the moles of potassium chloride plug and chug. That was quick and simple. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and be sure to sign up for my YouTube. Happy eyes, everyone.